Lucid has just discounted its electric cars, the entire range, by between eight to ten thousand US dollars, meaning it's actually reduced prices by approximately twenty to fifty thousand dollars over the past six months. Are they a good buy now? I mean, for example, the new Lucid price, right? The all-wheel drive model. It has about the same range as a Tesla Model S base version. It's it's now the same price. They both cost seventy four thousand nine hundred ninety US dollars. Both very very good cars for that money. Both don't qualify for EV incentives in the United States, so they are actually the same price. Which one is better? Is it now worth considering? Well, do I get my dream car? Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching the Electric Viking. And I love price wars. The media pretends like it's some sort of great evil. Uh, cheaper EVs are a terrible monstrosity. We should fight them with all we have. They're worse than world wars. That's the way they act. They, 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 this, they, the hyperbole around discounting EVs is so extreme. There's like thousands of media articles. Oh, this EV price war is bringing us all to hell. What? I think it's brilliant. I think it's fantastic. Anyway. That's my take, guys. Let me know what your take is on the EV price war happening right now. There's clearly a price war, not just in China, not just in America, but also in Europe as well. And some companies are doing well out of it, you know, selling at lower margins, but still increasing their sales. And others are, well, they're being smashed like Ford and General Motors and probably Toyota as well. Anyhow, Lucid, they're of course losing a lot of money on every car they sell, but they still make good cars. And they're now actually pretty good value. I would never have even remotely considered buying a Lucid before. I just thought, you know, would I spend that kind of money on an EV? No, I wouldn't. But now, well, honestly, guys, I don't live in America, but if I did, I'd have to think about it. Lucid has reduced prices of almost all of its premium electric vehicles by up to 10,000 US dollars. This doesn't sound like that much in isolation, but if you add up all the price range, if you add up all the discounts, it results in enormous total discounts, totaling tens and tens of thousands that now apply to their vehicles. I mean, the cheapest Lucid used to be about $100,000. It's now $75,000. The mid-range Air Grand Touring has the highest discount. However, the entry-level Air Pure sells for $77,500. The Air Pure has 410 miles of range, that's 660 kilometers, and 480 horsepower, meaning it's got five miles more range, so five miles more range than the Tesla Model S long range. They both cost the same, but the Tesla Model S long range does have 200 horsepower more, so a lot more power. Lucid, probably a bit more luxurious though. So, I mean, horses for courses. Depends on what you're after. Personally, I find that a tough choice. I do like, I think if I was gonna buy my dream car, I'd want it to have a bit more power. I'd probably be wanting to buy the Tesla Model S Plaid because that's still relatively affordable. Don't know if I could really justify paying the asking price for something like the Lucid Sapphire. Anyway, if you want to get the all-wheel drive Air Grand Touring, which is a little bit slower than a Tesla Model S Plaid, that one actually has been discounted as well. That comes with 1,050 horsepower. Now, the Air Grand Touring has seen a pretty big price discount. It was priced at 125000 600, it's discounted again by 10,000, bringing it down to 115,600. But that still means it's around about 26,000 US dollars more than a Model S Plaid. Now, yeah, I know people don't think the Model S Plaid is all that luxurious, but I mean, you could get the performance pack and you know, you guys have seen those driving, racing around the Nürburgring. It'd be scary as hell, but it'd be a hell of a lot of fun. So getting back to Lucid, what are the prices of their EVs now? The Lucid Air Pure all-wheel drive, which is, of course, the Lucid's competitor to the Tesla Model S long range, costs 74900 That's down from 82400 but it's actually down from about 100000 at, at, you know what, six months ago. It's around a $25,000 discount. Lucid's Air Touring has been discounted from 95000 down to 87000 and the Lucid Air Grand Touring has been discounted from 125,600 down to 115,600. The discount supports the Lucid Air Pure all-wheel drive below the 77,500 rear-wheel drive. So the all-wheel drive version is cheaper than the rear-wheel drive version. I don't really understand that, but anyway. 
The entry level Lucid Air Pure gets 410 miles of range and 480 horsepower. Same price as the Model S Long Range, like I said, about the same range, but 200 horsepower less, but a little bit more luxury. High-end Lucid Air Grand Touring has 516 miles of range and 1,050 horsepower, meaning it's the vehicle in the United States with the most range of any vehicle that you can buy today. So I guess when you think about it that way, it'll do zero to 62 miles an hour in 2.6 seconds, zero to 100, 2.6 seconds, 516 miles of range, nearly a thousand kilometers of range. That's really quite an amazing vehicle. Would I personally buy one though? To be honest, probably not. I don't really like sedans to tell you the truth. Even though I, you know, I'm a big fan of EVs, I still need that practicality. I still need that boot space, guys. I've got kids, so I just couldn't do it. Could you do it? Would you consider it? I mean, honestly, Lucid makes some pretty rad cars. But the only thing is here, guys, will Lucid discount more? I mean, I think we thought the discounting had stopped a few months ago, but um, it's continued again. The other issue is here. I mean, there is a real possibility that Lucid could go bankrupt. I know the Saudis now own the majority of the company, but it still is possible they'll say enough's enough after the losses continue to mount. I mean, Lucid's losing a lot of money every car it sells. You know, we're talking thousands and thousands of dollars. So is it possible that you could have an orphan car? You buy a really expensive car, a luxury car, and then the brand disappears? That could be a problem and it is possible. Will it happen? I've got no idea. What are your thoughts? Let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching.